Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to FAC Medusa, a fantastic new compressor from Fred, but it is much more than a compressor and as uh, Fred um, likes to refer to it, a colorful and, and with character compressor as well. It is much more than a compressor. You can do side chain. As you can see here, uh, you have auto gain and you have a brick wall limiter. You also have a pre amp or pre compressor settings. So you have lots of different options. But before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. As you can see, then I am inside AUM. I have an audio instance of analog here, and then I'm using Medusa here as an insert effect. And I'm going to show you as well how you can do side chain using, of course, Medusa as a multi bus um, app. And I'm using Digistick 2 here to create that um, rhythm for the side chain. So let's open up Medusa again. So the first thing you can see here is the interface. The interface is really, really nice. Look at the controls, how well they are actually rendered and chosen really, really nice. And um, let's turn the wet control here to zero. And let's here, we have the dry control on here and you have only a right indication in decibel underneath. Let's hear what that sound, um, uh, that preset sounds like from analog. So that is how it sounds, okay? So let's reduce now the dry um, input down to zero. And if we play again, you can see the input here in the meter here. And it says I end for input and the next two are your left and right output as well. And you can see there is no left and right output here because of course I have wet and dry uh, controls set to minimum. Now, on the left hand side here, what you have is um, you have three bends, low, medium and high, which of course you can adjust using um, the dials. And you can see how really nice they are and uh, you have, of course, the indication in decibel and nef. So uh, let's try a little bit. And let's adjust the wet signal here. And as you can see, uh, at the moment, I have the threshold set to actually the minimum level. So I have no compression, uh, which is coming in. So you can hear how easy it is to adjust the um, three different bands. And you also have here a meter as well, and also an indication in yellow here of the compression. Indeed, if I start to change the threshold, you can see that yellow circle, which is actually uh, changing. So that's really nice. You can adjust up here that crossover uh, filter, uh, sorry, crossover frequency. So you can click and hold to move up to adjust the, the low medium uh, frequency, low to mid here, or the mid to high here. Okay, so let's try. You can see that as I adjust the uh, meter is adjusting, so as I adjust the frequency, you can see that the meter is adjusting itself because I'm moving the um, crossover uh, frequency. Okay, so um, down here in the center, you have a gain and also reduction meter, which you will see in action as we move up with the threshold. You also have access to a filter slope, and you have a three different settings, 12 decibel, 24, and 48. And you can really hear the difference. So let's try. You 
you could really hear the difference as I was changing the um, filter slope. But anyway, let's set this back to 12 decibel. And um, underneath here, you have a pre-compression setting, which is set for sum at the moment. It takes the sum of the free band, but it can also act on individually for each of the free bands as well. So if I was to start to now act on the threshold, and you can change the ratio in terms of compression up here. So click on hold. You can see now that um, uh, you see the com indication now on the meter on this first band here showing up with the yellow line. Let's increase the ratio again. Uh, you can go to infinite, of course. And um, let's, um, uh, you can see if I take down the threshold now, this part here is increasing. We can adjust also uh, the crossover frequency to move that. There you go. So now you can see also on this band as well, you can see the uh, compression acting on it. But let's increase the wet diode to hear it as well. You can also have these set to some and you have only one meter again reduction meter only at the center. The other thing which is really nice underneath the free bands you have also saturation controls really really nice and really useful. You could hear it now changing the saturation in, in the mid uh, band that it was uh, having a nice effect. You could hear it. Now, up here, you have ration, as I said, in terms of how much you want to compress. And uh, this is an interesting feature because you have compression downwards in terms of reduction of uh, um, the signal, or you can have compression upward as well in terms of increasing it as well. Um, of course, um, against the threshold which you set down here. And you can see, of course, the jump here on the output as you change the compressor type. You have also auto gain, which will align the output signal after compression to be the same um, level of uh, uh, the input signal. And you also have controls for attack and release in terms of how quickly the signal is compressed and also how quickly it stops being compressed. You can also limit here the range of the compression, which is really, really nice. So you can go um, up to uh, 60 or um, decibel, so zero from 60 decibel. And then here you have a setting for your knee. Uh, so um, the level around the uh, um the uh, threshold so you can have a hard or soft knee so in terms so of uh, uh, decibel so from zero to 60 decibel um, and finally here you have uh, a limiter which you can turn on and off of course and you can set the release as well in millisecond and here you have also a meter in terms of uh, uh, that indicator of the uh, limiter and how it is acting. And down here you have a selection of preset. So you click on it, you can choose some of the preset or move left and right within different presets. Okay, now what I want to show you is also the sidechain. So let's activate this and uh, let's play um, 
let's turn on the um, the controls and the so that we have uh, um, Digistick here playing. And um, let's create a simple bit, something like this. Okay, perfect. I have this set to mute, so you will uh, not hear Digistick. So let's uh, now increase the wet signal. And now you can uh, you could hear uh, the side chain acting as a uh, to the compressor. Of course, I had to change back the range because it was limited. So let's listen again. You could see the uh, limiter um, working when the um, setting on the wet was quite high. Let me show you now the effect on changing attack release on the output. So pay attention to the output. You can also see the change here on the gain reduction meter at the center. And now you could really hear that auto gain when it is on. So be careful when you use auto gain. So as you can see, it is really, really, really nice. And also before I forget, if you click here on the eye, you have access to tip jar, which I recommend you do. Leave a review. You have access to the welcome screen and also the online documentation. So I'm going to stop here. It is really an amazing compressor with a lot of colorful uh, character. I hope you enjoy the tutorial and demonstration and as always see you next time. Bye.